Physical condition is one of the most important things in baseball. In my opinion, good physical condition is just as important to a player as good feeling or good hitting. To get in good physical condition, you must eat the right foods, a well-balanced diet. You must get plenty of rest, particularly a good night's sleep. Take plenty of exercise of the right kind. Running is very important in baseball, and you can make yourself a better runner while at the same time working your whole body as well as your legs into fine shape. Run as much as you can without overtiring yourself. Don't just jog or trot for distance. Take wind sprints, fast dashes to increase your speed and give you more wind for those times when you'll have to tear down the baseline to beat out a bunt or beat out an infield ball or score from first on a double. If you have a friend around, play lots of pepper. Any time you get a chance, bounce a ball against a wall and catch it over and over again. This not only strengthens the legs, but the stooping over you will do to recover erratic bounces will make your back stronger. Develop your throwing arm in the only reasonable way, by using it. At the beginning, don't throw as hard as you can. That might harm the muscles. Start out throwing easy and gradually work up to a full speed ball. You'll be surprised how strong this will make your throwing arm in time and how much it will help your general physical condition. Just remember, baseball didn't come easy to those big leaguers you see on the diamond. They take physical conditioning so seriously that they often go to training camp for real hard work as much as six or eight weeks before the season opens. And remember, those fellows never let themselves get badly out of shape, even during the winter months. The big leaguers make it look easy because they know what they are doing, and they are in the very finest of physical condition. That's the way we want to make you.